Hi, good morning, guys, and welcome. Hi, good morning, guys, and welcome to today's products in focus. It's been quite an interesting the last couple of sessions um, with a lot of volatility. Obviously, last week we had this big sell-off. Then Friday we had a little bit of a rebound, but today we're kind of kind of pausing for breath and kind of drifting that little bit lower again. Uh, kind of China slowdown fear is very prevalent um, as uh, kind of new capital reforms are, are coming into place. Um, we are seeing a little bit of a dip in some of the Asian markets um, over uh, over their Monday session. And uh, it was only in, in, the, in India and Indonesia where we actually saw some decent gains in the back of new um, political parties that have taken power there. But um, over in China, like the China E50 and some of the other uh, regions there got, got pretty smashed. Like the China E50 was down over 2% at one point. And um, yeah, a lot of um, kind of worry over there that uh, they're not going to be as competitive as they would like to be in the future. So that's kind of where we are with the US 30. Potential support still remains at 16,400 and the potential resistance is at 16,598. Um, and we're already seeing a little bit of pressure this morning on the US 30. Looking at the UK 100, has come off of a fair amount this morning, trading near its lows. Obviously, we were very volatile there on Thursday and Friday. Today probably is going to promise things to be no different. We do have a bearish crossover, a potential bearish crossover there in the MACD. We have just crossed over the RSI 70% um, level, and we're very close to breaking that 80% uh, slow stochastic level on, on there. So the UK 100 actually looking very vulnerable to further moves to the downside. Um, if, the, if you know this momentum continues, uh, the fact that it's trading so, towards the end of its lows there is not so good. Um, especially as the UK economy is supposed to be doing relatively well. Um, this the sell off here close to resistance um, means that we might get quite close to 6774, uh, which would also be that 21 period SMA. Um, but as I said, when the economy is doing so well, it's not that surprising that we're having a bit of a sell off close to resistance, but a break above here would potentially lead on to 6966. It's just that uncertainty over the China slowdown and a complete vacuum of major economic data today uh, and for the rest of the week might add extra pressure on the UK 100. If we then look at Japan 225, it's on the wrong side of potential um, support now acting at resistance as 14219. Next potential um, support will be at 13693. Dollar yen, which is a big driver of Japan 225, still bouncing around 101 spot 35 this is the new support level potential support level that we've uh, we've been looking at the last couple of sessions a break and close below that opens up 100 spot 80 uh, as the us dollar still continues to take a little bit of a back seat against some of the majors uh, west texas crude's got a spring back in its step um you can see a friday and today moving in the right direction getting quite close to potential resistance at 103 um that'll be the level of strategic importance to our traders today and if we have a quick look at uh, gold uh, as ever 1295 it seems to be getting glued to that as time goes on these peaks and troughs are flattening this feels like it's turning to a flat line close to 1295 that just gives you an idea about how important that level actually is looking at euro dollar um obviously with the kind of overarching theme that the ECB will potentially cut rates in June, or something, putting the policy options together to make that a reality, there's a lot of pressure on the euro, but the US dollar is not really surging either. Um, so we are probably going to be um, looking around about 37.10 today. Uh, and over the next couple of days, you can see the volatility that we've had. So this is the level that could be the strategic move to the upside or to the downside, depending on your on your personal views. Um, look for a lot of US dollar denominated views to try and uh, give kind of a direction because you know the market seems to be relatively confident that the um, the ECB is finally going to cut rates. So that's not a guarantee. Incidentally, they've been thinking that for a long time. If we have a look at cables, had a little bit of a rebound, but I can see already that that 21 period SMA has been acting as a cap on potential gains right here. Uh, and the 55 period SMA acting as potential support. So maybe we might actually see us trading in between these two ranges for a little while, uh, which wouldn't be so great because we actually would love a little bit more volatility in these markets. So like the day, there's absolutely nothing today. Well, not really anything of major significance tomorrow. There's a uh, RPI in the UK. Fast forward on to Wednesday, you've got Bank of England minutes and retail sales and you've got um, crude oil inventories. Again, nothing really that exciting. You know, we're really looking for some US dollar denominated news so we can get some decent moves in Euro dollar and cable. We look forward onto that Thursday 
And then we've got US jobless claims and UK GDP. So there's a fair amount of UK macro data, but nothing major US-wise, which we really need as a catalyst. Keep around the chart forum as ever from our global analyst team and make sure you make insights part of your layout. This is the inside track from our global teams about what's moving markets today. And join me again tomorrow to find